Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at two really, really well-known wrestling booking games, uh, kind of side by side. One of them, of course, is Total Extreme Wrestling 2020, and the other one, of course, is Pro Wrestling Sim, uh, which is uh, both uh, very, very solid applications for the purposes of simulating the management rather than the physical combat aspect of actual wrestling. Now, one thing you probably notice right away is, uh, for some bizarre reason, it seems that this window is really small. It's because this is the biggest size that your pro wrestling for the TEW can actually get. And now, if you have a big monitor like mine, actually, with three monitors, this gets uh, very annoying and just gives you just one little thing to think about. Uh, meanwhile, of course, our pro wrestling sim, although if I turn this one back up, it appears to be full screen. It's uh, basically because of the way that I'm scaling over here in OBS that simulates the full screen. But uh, the reality is that it looks a little bit more like this. And you can actually see the fact that um, it comes in a variety of different sizes. It's actually possible to maximize it to the full screen as well. Just kind of one of those things that uh, just makes it a little bit different. So when you're kind of comparing the two, just kind of keep that in the back of your head. So TEW 2020, uh, this is uh, one of the Grey Dog software softwares that have been going on a very long time. The series goes way, 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 way back, and it has so many incantations and does so many different things. So to give us an idea of what these two applications are like kind of side by side, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, kind of simulate something fairly similar so you can kind of see what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to database, and I'm going to pick the RWC 2023 database and press use. And again, that's because of the scaling here, uh, things look a little bit different than they are. Uh, when I pop over to PW, of course, uh, it gives me the same sort of idea. I can come up to a new game here. It's going to say, which one do you want? I've got the PWS in November. It's slightly different timeline, but obviously there's obviously different people who've uh, programmed all of these as well. So it's going to be a little bit different, so you can kind of see the two. So what I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to grab myself uh, AEW, which is uh, nice and easy. I'm familiar with AEW. It makes it pretty easy. It Next, it's going to give me a couple different options here. Uh, aging effects is fine. Blah, 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 blah. Romanov kind of a thing with game two. Of course, I can make this an example. I come down here and I press start game. So now when we head over to DEW, it's a kind of a similar experience. I go up to a DB here. I come RWC. Obviously, it's a month off, so it's going to be slightly different as far as this goes. Press uses database. This is I'm already using it. That's fine. Come up to the plus and go ahead and bash that button. Now, when I push that button, um, you're going to see a couple things are going to happen. Uh, first of all, it's going to have to go through and process all of the database. Uh, another downside kind of to TEW, depending, is uh, this is real time, and I have a very, very powerful computer. So it gives you an idea of the differences in times it takes to do things. I'll call this one game two. Well, one of the cool things, of course, is you can set what part of the world you're interested in. I'm not really interested in this part of things. Like I said, I want to kind of keep it simple just for the um, basic purposes of not getting too complex here. And um, too complex is going to be the name of the game when it comes to TEW. 2020. Uh, notice how many people it has to delete here. And this is all real time, by the way. You know, I'm not exaggerating or anything like that. So while that's going ahead, I'm going to head back to PWS and um, start doing some things here. I'm going to actually book my event here. So I'm going to come up to the tippy top. I'll click on my uh, book event. Uh, one thing you'll see here is you have your roster, which is all broken down. We've got nice color pieces here. You know, I can see the different characteristics. I can see the different people, um, the, all everybody all kind of built in. Uh, you know, you can click on commentary and it'll track other changes over time in here. You've got changes, pushes. We can release the worker. I can get all your critical details down here. Win loss records, uh, coming up to promotion. You know, I can pick all my announcers. You probably recognize a few there. I've got no developments right now. I'm not, you know, WWE or anything. Medical, if anybody's broken. Uh, currently, we have all the kind of drug samplings and stuff like that. All those elements are kind of integrated and built directly into sort of our menus here. Of course, if I want to go uh, kind of global here, I could go to all promotions and you can see just how many things are simulated inside of this particular option here. Again, people have made beautiful series. <laughs> John Moxley, what are you doing? New Japan Pro wrestling it's called borrowed uh the cool thing here of course is everything's in here now people did a really really good job with mods to give you so many different things to play with here so that's all set um, i'm good to go i'm gonna go on you can kind of take a look at my tag teams i want to go down to my stables and stuff like that they're all here somebody took plenty of time to program all these you can do all these your things self i'm not going to get into these details because it's just going to take so long for the purposes of doing so like i said i'm going to keep it kind of basic here as far as that goes what i'll do is i head back to my office and kind of take us back here so in the meantime, uh, TEW, of course, has uh, finished doing what it's doing. It has uh, done a nice job here. It's all ready to go. How many players want to play it? I'm interested in a one-player game. This is uh, who do you want to play as? I'm going to play as me, my game master. You can tell that I added that in there. It lets you put some templates in here. If you're starting to notice a trend, kind of a thing like that, uh, don't be surprised if that continues. Plays this character, beautiful. Uh, do you want to use this? I don't need any other user characters. That's fine. What company do you want to be? AEW, let's go. So I'm going to play as the booker so I don't have to worry about you know running the company and press continue. And our office looks like this. And uh, you can see it looks a little different. Um, like I said, everything that we had that was up on the uh, hopper menus is now jammed onto a one screen here. And we also have a whole collection of options down here, down below. It gives us all our critical information, kind of quick lookups. It tells us stuff about my character 
characteristics of my person. It's all pretty neat. Like I said, we can go to user control. We've got all sorts of different things here as far as images. We can't do any of the psycho sermons, which is too bad because um, those things are fun. You need cheat codes for that. And again, kind of mentally think about that for a second. And then let's head back over to uh, PDBS here. And you can see how it's similar, but everything is kind of tucked away in menus rather than having it kind of all directly in your face at one time. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and book an event just for the purposes of kind of seeing what it looks like uh, side by side. So if we head back to TEW, uh, we have an event coming up, of course. Um, there's nothing that really tells me, you know, what my uh, events are going to be kind of coming up or anything along those lines. We could do some pre-booking if we wanted to do. I'm not going to do any pre-booking. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. You can see here that this is how much money we have, this is how much prestige we have. Our next TV show is Rampage in two days. So I'm going to go fast forward. I'm going to do uh, two days, I believe is the amount that we said. Events this many days. And again, I'm going to do this in real time, uh, just so you can get a feel of the uh, two systems are kind of side by side. I love how it does this, where it gives you just kind of like a random wrestler to read about. I think this is a really nice touch. You know, little things like this do make it a little bit easier. By the way, look at all of the stats that are tracked for TEW. Just kind of put that in the back of your head for half a second here. And again, this is two days of advancement of time. So that's all set. And that looks pretty good to me. Um, if we are, have Dynamite, is already ready to go. But if you recall, we're not planning for Dynamite. We're uh, doing Rampage today. So one of the things that I actually have to do is go run back over here. And remember, we're starting on a different day. And you can see that Dynamite is ready to go, even though we're doing Rampage tonight. But again, we're going to do them one at a time. So now this is ready to go. We're ready to do some booking action. I'm going to click up at the top corner. It's going to bring me to the booking page. Now, this is where things start to change. Uh, we've got a backstage incident right away. Uh, we can see uh, something went wrong with Anna J here. Oh, come on. Don't do that to me. Uh, let's see here. Personality professional. That's delightful. Come over here. Looks pretty good. Close this. Uh, we go over here. Of course, we can set anything. This is just kind of giving us some background information, which is pretty good. We come over here. Um, this is going to let us pick what our particular locations are. I'm pretty happy. We're expecting 3,074. We're in Tampa, Florida. Looks good. We come to the booking page. You know, this is where the process begins to become the process, as they say. Now, now I'm going to demonstrate a auto book versus a actual book. So I'm going to go up to the auto booker and press that, press book whole show. The game's going to uh, freak out a little bit and it's going to generate a really nice little spread of uh, different acts here. Again, this is for Rampage. This is not for Dynamite. Uh, Dynamite, we're basically going to have to skip over in the other one, but I'm not worried about it too much. Looks pretty good. It's generated some angles here. It's generated all sorts of different places. And when we're ready to go, we can actually press this lovely start show button. So I'm going to come down here and press start show. Um, our first uh, little angle here, not bad. It gives us some dirt. It's kind of giving us the details as far as what went well. Next segment, I uh, got a 56. Uh, this is a really good one. Uh, these people have some great tag team. We got some beautiful chemistry here. Uh, performance overall, even though we had all that green, we got a 56. Eh, not bad. Malachi back because it kind of comes in, does his little thing, sort of a piece. That's all right. So 59, the announcing quality lifted the match. The crowd got a little hotter, which is always important. And you want a hot crowd. Um, you know, we have this little piece here with Tony Storm, timeless, and nothing happens. Uh, we have another match. It's a 61, again, 47. Again, it doesn't give you any individual pieces for what went well, what went didn't. It just kind of gives you sort of a general little piece here. We come down here. We got some good announcing quality. Uh, we have a little piece here on the kind of, they do a little piece. Not bad, 64, 61, good chemistry finish show. And then, of course, it's going to give me my final score of a whopping 61 here. Now, what's interesting here is I'm going to finish the show, and uh, we didn't get yelled at, which is uh, pretty good. But notice, there's another show that comes right after and this is AEW Dynamite. So what I'm going to do here is everything's fine here. This is all selected. This is good. This is good. Let's head down here. Let's show you what it looks like to actually try to book your own match. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come down to add match. And again, keep in mind, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this. I just want to show you the differences. We come up here 1v1. We can do a 2v2. I'll keep it nice and easy. I'll do a 1v1. I'll come over here. Um, yeah, I feel like there's something missing here. There's a lot more matches out there. Oh, what, what, what's this button do here? Oh, what, 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 default matches. Ah, here's the rest of the matches. I found them. So there's a lot of match types. Not only are there a lot of match types of it, say, by the way, oh, you can see that it does one of these. Here's all the different match types we have at our disposal. Now, you're probably sitting here going, um, these seem pretty redundant and pointless. And uh, what, what the heck is going on here? What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? But the reality is this is just some of the match types because we can even add our own match, for example. Um, for example, we can come in here. You have a cage of death. If I want to make a copy, you could activate steel cage. You could put, you know, different types of finishes are allowed. You could put barbed wire boards. And again, you could put all of these items in here. You could set the times. All that stuff can be done uh, directly here. 
Now, of course, uh, we want to pick some people to fight against here. So we come to this screen, and it seems like Aaron and Soho is going to be kind of taking it right now. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab some major stars here. I'll do uh, Abaddon. Again, I don't know any of these people, so I'm just going to drag them on. Uh, Action and Dreddy. What do you mean, major star? Uh, whatever. It's all funny. Throw an Adam Page down here. We'll get an Alex Reynolds. Of course, people are twitching when they see this group of people. Notice, by the way, the sheer number of stats on each one of these individuals. Just program this into your brain for a minute, because uh, this will be very relevant. I press the save button. There they all, they all appear, and um, we're just getting warmed up. And let me show you what I mean by warm. This is way too short of a match. We'll go to 15 minutes here. Um, let's see what happens when I push this button. Oh my gosh. Here's the rest of the things that we can program into the individual match. Now, if you're hoping there was like a nice help document, there is a help document that actually is pretty helpful. And what you're going to notice is there's not a lot of detail as to what each one of these means or what it actually does. That is up for you to figure out. So, of course, I can come in here. I can define who is going to be the victor here. I can say that I can make this a wild brawl kind of a match. I can come down here. I can say that I want everybody to have an open match so this even fights. I can uh, script this. I can make an all-out match. I can make it a slow build and kind of make this sort of work all together. This match, by the way, we got about a 15 score. None of these are going to match. But if I wanted to, I could come down here. I could say, um, let's see, partner miscommunication finish. And we'll say Abaddon is the one who broke it on us. And you can see just how many details you could add to a single match. Now remember, the scoring we saw before, it doesn't tell you plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, minus three. It just gives you a number and you have to kind of estimate what succeeded. Now I come down here and I press a book statement and um, of course uh, our this guy comes in and vetoes this because it's too risky and shouldn't be allowed in the air. And it lets you know that you cannot do this type of match. So we'll just do a conventional 3v3. Press book segment. Everything's good to go. And you can see here, there's a lot of things we need to do. It says that we've got one segment. Uh, we have to put this in. We need 96 more minutes to block here. Of course, if we wanted to be lazy, we can uh, take a look here. we got all these things. We're being warned because we're not advancing storylines. Uh, we have a storyline right here. So, of course, we could add people to it. Uh, with MGF and all this. We go to the auto booker real quick. We could book the whole show, press close. One thing I love is the fact it doesn't accidentally uh, delete everything I already did. So I appreciate that. But um, again, you can see what my whole show looks like. Now, remember how I said a minute ago it was probably going to be a pretty bad match? Watch this. Let's go to my match here. Um, broke a finger. Ooh, hate injuries. Garbage. 44 is terrible. You can see some of my wrestlers did a beautiful job here. And we had a lot of positives here, but like we just got crushed. And now when you look at this, you can see penalize, 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 penalize. And it's just a mess. Now let's go ahead over to uh, I think our other one, PWS now, and show you how things look differently. And again, I'm not trying to say one of these or the other, nor am I going to say which one of them I have the more time in, as you'll probably guess. So I'm going to go book event now, and uh, this is going to pop up in a few moments, and uh, it's going to give me all my options. Now this looks a little different, and you'll notice it's giving me a large local arena already automatically. I can come down, press auto book, I can press confirm, and it does a decent job. It uh, generated one, I can see Kyle O'Reilly's a little mad about that, because of uh, this sort of a piece. And we have a decent show here. This is about 120 minutes in length. Uh, got all sorts of good stuff. We booked this much amount of, amount of time in it. And of course, I can come over here and I can press the start the show. It says, are you sure you want to do this? I press confirm and off we go. So our first piece here, uh, we have these two folks. Notice there's a button to play their entrance music. I'm not going to get demonetized on this. Notice it's warning me about camera quality. We have a match quality. We have a two-star match here. It also explains a little bit more numerically what's going on. We have a nice little angle here. Oh! <gasps> We have not gotten anything remotely that high compared to what we had over in the other one, but that's all right. So we have, uh, there's Sting. Oh my God, Sting, you've been at this too long. <gasps> a 99. Wow, that was a really good match. Uh, then we actually do another angle here. This is Brian, thank you, this is 94. I think you're getting the idea of the score differences here. So coming over here to Madison, a 66. Yeah, it's a two and a half star match. Eh, whatever, it's TV. Uh, that's an 81 and 83. Kyle O'Reilly, Johnny TV. Nice job. Uh, Lance Archer and Luchasaurus. Uh, we got ourselves a decent, the crowd kind of like, they're not loving it. Two star match. Overall, about a 67. Uh, Willow versus Layla Gray. Uh, ooh, that was a negative one match. Ouch. That hurt. That was actually the worst. But notice these scores are the starting scores for when we did the exact kind of thing. Again, different wrestlers, different situations, different finishes, I know. But it's important that you see kind of the differences side by side. We get to the main event, and we got an 89. Whoa! So that is almost a five-star match. Now that is what I call a main event there. Kind of cool. So we hit end show. So my show over ready, 85% rating. That's 
double what we got over at TEW. But again, there's different things going on here. We want to make sure that you can see the two side by side so you can really kind of know what you're getting yourself into. So we got a little summary. Obviously, somebody got a new contract. And then, of course, we have ROH today. So um, we're going to go ahead and pre-book ROH. And uh, you can see the differences in booking now. So let's say I wanted to book an angle. Uh, one thing we did not see, and actually I should probably share this with you real quickly, is if we did want to go ahead and uh, book an angle, I can go pre-booking real quickly here. Uh, I did not want to pre-book it here. I wanted to, uh, let's see here, return to booking screen. Because you can actually book dynamically. I forgot to show you this. But if I go to this angle real quick and press the edit button, here's all the different angles you have. And not only can you do that, but you can pick a freestyle, and give it a name, give it a time, put game managers, hosts. You can define who's on there, what they're being ranked on. All those components are all built in directly into TEW there. Now, when we get over to PWS, if I go ahead and say, let's add an angle, maybe one, a little introduction here. So I can come over here and I have filters now. So I can come in here. Let's do a uh, personality. Uh, let's see here. Who do we want? Um, you know, let's sort them carefully here because I want to sort them by, um, let's say, uh, commentary here. Give me somebody who's got some good commentary skills. Actually, if anything, entertaining is what I'm really going for here. Uh, entertainment. There we go. So let's see what we got. We got Don Callis. I like that. So let's go ahead and uh, create ourselves a little uh, piece here. Uh, we'll say, uh, I'll do some talking. I like that. Uh, we'll do a five minutes here. Uh, we'll have uh, Don Callis uh, talking to Jake Roberts. Uh, why not? Uh, subject here. Uh, we can pick a personality here. We'll pick a main event person. Uh, we'll talk about Sting and MJF. Why not? And, uh, these people, of course, uh, have no storyline, so none of that's all relevant here. So I drag that. <laughs> Notice you drag, by the way, a little different than it was before. Press uh, save beat, and let's go ahead and uh, get a little uh, introduction here. We'll do a uh, two minutes. Uh, let's see here. We'll grab somebody who's, uh, we'll do enhancement talent. Man, that seems way more offensive than it really is. And we'll go ahead and do by marketability. Uh, who do we want here? I'll take uh, Tony Deppin. That sounds pretty good. Oh, wait, that's an attack. I meant to do an entrance. My bad. I'll do an entrance here. We'll put this character in over here. <laughs> I have a little bit of trouble. Honestly, I wish there was like a quick double click mode or something like that. Make that much easier. And we'll take uh, Turbo Floyd. Notice, by the way, it tells me my faces and my um, heels and everything like that built in. It automatically grabbed the manager for me. Press save. That sounds pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and add a match now. Come into match. Um, again, familiar to TEW. Uh, we'll say we want a 12 minute match here. Uh, let's see, referee is fine. Let's see my agents. I'll take Chris Hero. It's auto organized by skill here. Uh, gimmick. Uh, what do we want today? Mm, let's see here. What could be fun? Hell in a Cell. That sounds pretty fun. I quit. Inferno. Ooh, that sounds kind of fun. Iron Man. That sounds good to me. Click on that one. And then, of course, uh, we can grab those individuals. They already have a mark here to tell them that we've used them automatically, which is kind of handy. And all I have to do is do that. And now I've got myself my, a match pretty much ready to go. Now, all I can do now is I can go to titles. We're not changing the titles. I can pick who's going to win here just by hitting that button. Win type. I can pick the type of well, win type if I need to. Not really critical here. I'll put purpose. We can try to steal a show. We can do some, make some history or something like that. One thing I really enjoy is you can come down here and you can make a major spot, which makes everybody work a little bit harder here, which is pretty slick. And then, of course, I can save this match just like that. And you can see that they're just chilling there. And um, it's warning me over here in the corner, of course, that I have not filled out the rest of my show or anything like that. But you can see side by side what those two basically, what they look like. You know, if I want to add, you know, I want to change the order of something, let's say add another match here. Uh, let's see here, uh, Demos. Uh, you can already see the people who've been, but check this out. I can ignore all book people. I can shut the details off. If I want some tag teams. Let's say I want the infantry to go against. Um, well, we can't really do that. We'll do the boys versus the infantry. That's kind of fun. And Trisha Dora is going to be chilling on the side there. We'll make that a 15 minute match just like that. We'll throw on Chris Hero. Thanks, Chris. You're helping us out today. Oh, uh, what should we do? We should have a little bit of fun here. A ladder match? Oh, I love ladder matches. Those are fun. Expects a major spot, so I'll add major spot to that as well. That looks good. And the winner today is going to be Shandine. Why not? And I'm going to press save match. Done. And again, that's about as much time as it would take to build that. Now, there's one thing that uh, PWS does not do. And if I come down here and press auto book, it will delete the entire show in order to do that. So that's kind of problematic as far as uh, trying to set these sort of things up. Because when we do stuff like that, naturally I'm going to lose all the hard work that I already did. But the key thing here is you can see both of these now kind of side by side with each other. So you can get kind of a feel for what they look for. Now, one of the things I want to do here, uh, just kind of really, really quickly, is I mentioned both of these do have database editors, which are really effective. You know, I open up the database here for PWS, for example, if I click on workers. Uh, let's say I want to grab you know, just about AJ Gray, for example. You can see that this is basically all the different components 
You know, I have traits in the ring. I have personality traits. I can click boxes. This is a little fiddly. There's a lot of things going on here. We've got some pictures we can find. We can do relationships. We can set the move set. There's no move set uh, chemistry. We can set contracts and all that. Um, we can do all of that, of course, in TEW as well. You know, one of the things I can do is I can go back to the main page. It says, are you sure you want to do that? I'm like, yeah, I want to do that kind of a thing like that. Let's go. But when I go to this database, um, you're going to notice that the editor is a little different. And um, it's um, little little involved in um there's a lot of things in this editor, a lot of things in this editor. And there's not to say that there isn't as many over in PWS. It's just to say that it's done a little bit differently. You know, when I open up one of these components, for example, you know, this one's a TV show with all these basic details that are kind of worked into it. Now, if I pick a workers, for example, um, of course, uh, Dr. Britt Baker is uh, going to be this one. Double click on them. And you can see it's very, very, very similar to PWS. And now uh, you can see we can pick pictures. There's all sorts of details with regeneration. The skills are very very detailed. Uh, the popularity is very detailed. You can see the attributes. Um, we have many, 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 many different traits here at our disposal that we can utilize for this purpose. Uh, the business aspect, legacy, if we have an alter ego for this particular character, hence uh, Britt Baker, DMD, the dentist, and it's all kind of broken in here, plus all the you know, different types of gimmicks. Now, if you want to see something kind of fun, let's go open that one up real fast, just so you can have an idea of what you're kind of dealing with. Um, obviously, we don't, Brit is not a gimmick. Bam! What gimmick would you like? <laughs> and it's worth noting here, you know, I double click here, uh, Petty Criminal. It, you know, can break it down with so many different components here. There's some skill requirements. Everything like that is in here. Now, the cool thing is uh, when you come over here to the database editor, you know, if I pick this one, we do have some components for that, but it's uh, greatly simplified. You know, if I go to game world kind of a thing, whoops, if I go back to my game world database editor, you can see these are the different components that I do. But one of the cool ones is you have your match gimmicks like you did over in the other one as well. The downside, upside is they're vastly, they're a little bit more simplified, but they give you an idea of some of the different components. You can come in here and create a match that doesn't make any sense at all and make it a wicked, wicked successful match, even though it doesn't actually make any sense for your particular pieces here. So as you can see, these are both really, really neat games. Um, they basically do the same kind of thing at the end of the day. And uh, both of them, of course, kind of have their own sort of way to do it. Uh, PWS has definitely got a more modern interface. It's a much faster game. Um, you could see both for building matches as well as, you know, kind of going through the motions, you know, it was much, much easier of a game. This is very much like, you know, having a car with, you know, automatic cruise control and lane keep. And, you know, yeah, maybe it's an automatic kind of a thing like that. You, that, that. That's kind of the general gist of what this game feels like. You know, you're not going to get the full driving experience, so to speak, but it doesn't mean it's not an amazing thing to drive. Uh, when you get over to CW, this this feels more like, you know, a 1960s, a late 1960s Porsche 911 kind of a thing like that. Um, you're going to have to do everything yourself. And, you know, even though it looks fancy and it makes a lot of cool noises, it's going to be a little on the slow side. And, you know, it's a, you know, older technology is basically what it is. There's so much wonderful stuff in here. And if you really love to do the fantasy booking side of things, it, it's incredible. Uh, another thing worth noting is this is a much more expensive game than uh, PWS is. Uh, PWS is on Steam as early access. This has actually been released on version after version after version. So it's kind of another one of those things that you just want to sort of think of. Um, the um, star security system they use to, in order to protect this is a little strict compared to PWS. Obviously, you just need Steam installed. This one, you have to like send in a special activation code, and there's a whole process to this. So if you're looking for me to now say, uh, which one of these two games that I play more... Um, this is probably not going to come as a shock, but um, I do spend more time in PWS than TEW. And I started with TEW, I have to say that first, and I really love TEW. Uh, one of my all-time longest save games is in TEW. I don't even want to know how many hours I put into that save game. And I do it completely with all like you know the powers and settings and options and stuff detuned. You know, the reason I do all that, of course, is because you know, it lets me play the game the way that I want to play it, kind of a thing like that. And that is one thing I love, is when you go to preferences, look at how many realism options I can turn on and off based on what I want to try to experience here. This is wonderful, wonderful product for getting into the minutia in the weeds. You know, like I was saying, you know, this is uh, trying to put together an entire computer by resistor. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's really cool and really awesome. It just takes a really long time. Um, um, over in PWS on the flip side, you can see options wise, oh, we don't really have a lot. And as a matter of fact, when we're in the splash screen, I click new game. Remember all the settings that popped up? Those were the settings. That's all you get. So it kind of gives you a big idea of what the two different games are like. Uh, one thing I will say that's kind of neat about this one, by the way, which I thought was kind of cool, is um, you actually have the ability to um, import 
databases from TEW over here into PWS, which is just kind of one of those things that I find kind of interesting, you know, something like, oh, well, that's kind of handy. And then if we go up over to my edit database, you know, there's a couple of different tools down here, including a helpful scripts. And look at how handy these things are. You know, they can create networks, they can create track uh, contracts, network deals. Uh, there's a bunch of built-in things, all these things basically to make it easier for you. But notice, convert other 2020 wrestling game is an option built right into it. So when it comes to picking these games, um, it's all about the game that um, brings the most fun for you. You know, if you're looking for something that's a little more casual, a little easier to kind of get the hang of, PWS is absolutely excellent. Uh, they do a great job. It's slick. It runs fast. All the uh, saved games and Steam Workshop support, so installing things takes a second to do. Everything is very easily editable without having to work too hard. It's a really, really competent and interesting game. Uh, TEW, like I said, it's a product of a different era. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I love clunky products. I just wish it was a little bit faster. I wish it had some of the modern GUI components. And I, you know, I also wish that it was a little less obfuscated when um, you got points for things. You know, it's green or red. Is it one point off? Is it two point off? Like, I don't, I don't know. And that's one of the things that always kind of frustrates me for this game. But of course, there's no reason saying you can't have both. Enjoy.